Hello dear students, I welcome you all to quick video solutions of Akash plus Baiju's mock test. Today I am going to discuss zoology section of this test. Now let's begin with first question of zoology section. Question states that which of the following factors in the alveoli favor the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Before discussing the options, let us first understand about oxygen dissociation curve. Here you can see ODC, this curve is sigmoid in shape and shift to right indicates dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and shift to left indicates that hemoglobin is more saturated with oxygen. Shift to left that is when hemoglobin is more saturated with oxygen, this occurs at alveolar level. And the factors which are responsible for shift to left are mode PO2. Partial pressure of oxygen is the primary factor which is responsible for the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Other factors are less PCO2, less H plus ion concentration, more pH, less temperature, and less BPG content that is bisphosphoglycerate. Now come to the options. First option high partial pressure of carbon dioxide and lesser H plus concentration. High partial pressure of carbon dioxide this favors the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and we have to find out the factors which are responsible for the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So this cannot be a correct answer. Second option, low partial pressure of oxygen and lower temperature. This is also incorrect because high partial pressure of oxygen is required for the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Third option, high partial pressure of oxygen and lesser H plus concentration. This is correct. Both these factors are responsible for the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So, correct answer is C. Let us see fourth option also high H plus concentration and higher temperature. High H plus concentration and high temperature both favors the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin. So, this cannot be a correct answer and correct answer to this question is option number 3. Moving to the next question. Question states that how many of the following is or are examples of organisms which have evolved due to the changes in the environment brought about by anthropogenic action? A. Drug resistant eukaryotes. This is an example of evolution by anthropogenic action. B. Herbicide resistant weeds. This is also an example of evolution by anthropogenic action. C. Darwin's Finches of Galapagos Island. This is not an example of evolution by anthropogenic action. This is an example of adaptive radiation. D. Pesticide resistant pest. This is also an example of evolution by anthropogenic action. So, correct answer to this question is option number 3. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that match column 1 with column 2 with respect to diseases and their symptoms. Column 1 diseases A. Elephantiasis. Elephantiasis is caused by Bucciriria bancrofti, a nematode. And in elephantiasis, there is chronic inflammation of the lymphatic vessels of the lower limbs. So, A matches with 2. B. Ringworm. Ringworms is caused by trichophyton, epidermophyton and microsporum and in ringworms there is appearance of dry scaly lesions on various parts of the body such as skin, nails and scalp. So, B matches with 1. Ascariasis. Ascariasis is caused by Ascaris lumbricoides, again a roundworm and in Ascariasis internal bleeding, muscular pain, fever, anemia and blockage of the intestinal passage may occur. So, C matches with 
fourth common cold common cold is caused by rhino virus and in common cold nose and respiratory passage is infected but lungs are not affected so d matches with three let's see this combination is given in which option a is incorrect second is a correct match three is incorrect fourth is also incorrect so correct answer to this question is option number two Proceeding to the next question, how many of the following given statements are not correct with respect to the events that occur during inspiration? A. Relaxation of diaphragm. This is incorrect because during inspiration, diaphragm contracts. Here you can see in the relaxed condition, diaphragm is dome shaped and during inspiration, it contracts and becomes flattened here you can see diaphragm is contracting b contraction of external intercostal muscles this is correct during inspiration external intercostal muscles contract as a result ribs and sternum are raised c volume of thoracic cavity decreases this is incorrect because when diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract Volume of thoracic cavity increases. As a result, pulmonary volume also increases. Pulmonary pressure decreases and this decreases with respect to atmospheric pressure and as a result, air rushes inside. The intrapulmonary pressure increases. This is incorrect. So, correct answer to this question is option number 3. Proceeding to the next question. In agarose gel electrophoresis, the separated DNA fragments can be visualized after staining the DNA with ethidium bromide under. And the options given are first option gamma rays, second option infrared light, third option X rays, and fourth option ultraviolet radiation. In agarose gel electrophoresis, the separated DNA fragments can be visualized after staining the DNA with ethidium bromide under UV light. So, correct answer to this question is option number fourth. Proceeding to the next question, 